So good morning. Today is kind of an exciting day. I am going to build a greenhouse and I'm going to use dimensional lumber. So it'll be actually pretty easy. It should only take about a day. But I got, I was going to buy a cheap greenhouse on Amazon for 200 bucks because I figured I can't buy the materials for that and maybe it'll last me for a few years. Um, but then we were rebuilding all the picnic tables at work so I salvaged a whole bunch of the wood and I ended up with, I ripped it down, I ripped all the bad parts off and I ended up with this. I ended up with 33 two by sixes and 28 two by fours. So I don't really have much of a plan for this. It's gonna be pretty simple, uh, like an eight by 16. And I've cleared away some of the rocks on the land here to place it over here. It's not exactly flat, but I can, I can adjust that because I can build a square despite what you, you know, think from the house, which I need to clean everything up. Uh, yeah, so um, not much of a plan so far, but there's going to be a door on this end. I have some more of the bus windows. So I'll have two windows on this side and two windows on the uh, north side. And one on that so I can get cross breezes. The winds here are pretty much always north or south. So I can get some good ventilation in there. And I also have the door and the window I can open up for a cross breeze if it's coming sideways. So, I'm going to get at it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting off the bad ends of the 2x4s. I mean, there's warpage and stuff going on with them. There's some bad ends. There's a reason they were removed from the picnic tables. But for me, getting all this for free, a little sweat equity to rip them all down at work at lunch, but... So this is going to be the front wall. I need to do this with as little structural frame as possible while still having something fairly strong. I'll have to gusset in the corners um, and save on sticks wherever I can. So this is to be the front wall. It's going to be six foot, well, with the top plate and bottom plate, be six foot three. The back wall will be right about eight feet after I cut the ends of those boards off. Maybe seven feet. Yeah, the back wall will be seven feet. As you can tell, I really don't have much of a plan for this. And I'm hoping I have enough wood. I still want enough of those two by sixes to make a few raised bed gardens. So, all right, I'm gonna start getting this together. I'm not even gonna do double plates or anything like that. I'm just gonna put uh, blocks in there and screw them together. It's not, I mean, it's only eight by 16. Once the plastic gets on there, we have some high winds here. So, I may have to stake it down and all that good stuff. All right. Okay, but first I 
first I need to get this out of the way so I can build the back wall. All right, making progress. I've actually gotten, it's actually pretty plumb and level. It's with the, the bubbles within the lines. I'm fine with that. I'm not getting crazy about it, but it's actually pretty good. Let me show you. So I got boards across the bottom. I notched them in. Top right now, I just have a temporary board just to keep it from flopping over. And some temporary gussets because I plumbed it up. So I put a few rocks under it to level it. I'll have to put some gravel underneath later on to um, stabilize that and make sure it doesn't sag in different places. But it's actually pretty good. I'm going to be doing permanent gussets and all the rest of the corners, both directions. To keep it there, I'm going to start pulling out the 2x6s and start making rafters to go across. Make bird's mouth on both sides. Of course, I'll be collecting rainwater off of this. So I'll have them protrude over here one inch, I believe. That way I can put the gutter system on there and collect water and have my rainwater barrels inside here in the middle. And I'll have shelf that way and shelf that way and across the back and up to about here. Because I want to keep some area for storage and there'll still be a window there window window and this is actually for the quality of wood I'm using this is actually coming out pretty good just got to start into the two by sixes and I don't know how many I want to make across the top I don't know I'll find out I'll start doing it and find out like I said really don't have a big plan for this except I'm trying to kind of think about where things are going to go in here but this is going to be a nice little space for space for a greenhouse and getting seeds started this is going to give me the ability to grow food here in Oklahoma up until into November and then I'll be able to start again in February with the greenhouse um, I'll be able to do brassicas, onions lettuce I can grow all that herbs inside the greenhouse away from the insects and should produce most of the year and once I'll be able to sell the dehydrator I can dehydrate stuff for the other say three months of uh, no garden production fitting pretty good for the most part There we go. Getting there. I think this is going to be it for the day as far as building. I guess it's plastic. Um, sometime this week. And I got to build the door so I can get this thing wrapped up. I still haven't figured out. I might pick up some uh, one by one and a half straps, put the plastic on the boards, <clears throat> just give us a quick staple, then take the boards and screw that over the top of them. That way, if one rips, it stops there. 